Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Photoshop elements and create the infrared effect using normal photographs. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'd like, first like to thank Wacky Badger for letting me use this photo over here and I'd like to thank David Stanley over at Flickr for both of them for letting me use these images using the Creative Commons Flickr licensing. Let's go ahead and start with this first one right here. You notice I picked an image that had a lot of trees and a lot of green. Of course, infrared looks really great with trees. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to revert mine right here. And because this is a quick tip of the day, I'll try to make this relatively fast and painless. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up into the enhance and we're going to convert this into a black and white right over here and then we're going to pick the infrared effect and then what you're going to do is you're going to do a little bit of tweaking here now of course the green showing up as white is a trademark of infrared so if we want to bump that up maybe want to don't want to bump this up too much right there but we're going to bump that up just a little bit and then we can take down some of the blues just a tiny bit of the blues and we can take down some of the reds that gives us a little bit more to bump up the greens with. Now these are all channels right here that I'm working with and you can only access those through this particular option. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the infamous Command or Control J. I'm going to duplicate that layer and then up here at the top we're going to change this into multiply and what that's going to do is it's going to darken some of our shadows and then it's going to make those white areas look very very white just like we have with infrared and then if you want to do any adjustments you can take the opacity down just a little bit if maybe the shadows appear a little bit too dark and there we have it instant infrared and let's go ahead and take a look at this other picture that I have here there's a nice lake now in infrared the lake and water show up as real dark pieces of image and then of course any green area shows up really as a light one. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to take my image and I'm going to edit, revert that and there's our first image. Now of course just like the last time I'm going to go over here to enhance, convert to black and white, click on the infrared and then I'm going to bump down the blue just a little bit, make the skies and the water a little bit darker and then of course I'm going to bump up the green just a tiny bit and then select OK. Now if you remember what we did in the previous move, that was a Commander Control J. We went ahead and we added a duplicate layer to that. Now we're going to change the blending mode to multiply right there. And as you can see, it's starting to get nice and dark right here. Now, this is where we're going to do a little bit of a different method for this particular picture because we want to make it look like infrared. So what I'm going to do up to the top picture right here is I'm going to take that and I'm going to go to filter blur and I'm going to add just a little bit of a Gaussian blur. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want to soften the image just a tiny bit. I'm going to keep it at about a 3.5 pixel right there and then I'm going to select OK. Now of course you can't see the image very well so I'm going to click on the background layer and we're going to go up here and we're going to go to enhance lighting and then we're going to go to levels and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag the white and black sliders in just to give it a little bit more contrast. So I'm going to drag the white slider in there and that what that should do is it should brighten up some of those areas just a little bit as we bring that over and then I'm going to bring the black levels in there and it's going to give it some contrast right there. It's going to make that water look pretty dark. Now if you want to change the midtones, you can do that by bringing the slider left. That will put a little bit more lightness into the water. And then of course we can bring that to the right. That will give it a little bit more contrast. I do like to see a little bit more of that water. We can select OK. And there we have it, our infrared effect where it turns all of our green pine needles or leaves, turns those white and makes the sky and the water very dark. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Pass my video on to your friends. Cheers.